I'm talking today to Stanley Edwards, who is the director of Platypus Digital. Platypus is launching a digital download kiosk. Stanley, tell us about what the, what the kiosk will do and how you can use it. Well, essentially, the kiosk is a digital content distribution network. Um, so we will uh, load the kiosk with all sorts of content and users without uh, internet access or, or, need, or need to pay for data can browse the kiosk, build up a basket of content and then download that content to the device of their choice. So essentially it's a distribution network for digital content. And that will work on the basis of somebody having a, a USB stick or USB key to... Yeah, they would be able to download to multiple devices, uh, depending on what device they've got, but obviously USB is, is most probably the easiest. Um, but any other uh, portable hard drive it can be done via wireless, via Wi-Fi, via the kiosk as well. So multiple ways to be able to, do it, to, to, to take the content off the kiosk. And how much will these downloads cost? The downloads will depend on, on obviously, on the, on the, the, uh, the content owner. Um, but very much in, in line with, with, with online content prices, um, which are online at the moment. So it may be cheaper than physical uh, DVDs? It's absolutely. We don't have the cost of, uh, of distribution, of DVD replication, of storage, of stock holding. So naturally the, co the content will be cheaper um, off the kiosks. And where is the content stored? The content is, is stored on the hard drives because we're dealing with large, large media files, so we're dealing with full-length movies, documentaries. So the content actually resides on the hard drives on the kiosk, so the download is very fast. So we populate the kiosks remotely via a central server. The content sits on the kiosks and does a very fast download from the kiosks. And where will the kiosks be? The kiosks will be in retail, they'll be in high, tra high human traffic areas. We're putting them to schools as well to deliver uh, educational content to learners for free. So various areas where people would normally aggregate and obviously your normal sales areas for content as well. And you're here in South Africa, so where, where would be those areas that people congregate? We'll be in schools, community centres, libraries, um, they'll be in retail stores, they'll be in transport nodes. So generally, as I said, really high traffic, um, high human traffic areas. You mentioned education there how, how will that work what's what's the sort of things that the kiosk will be able to do for those involved in education well, what, one of the, what you know one of the challenges we have in South Africa and I'm sure it's the same um, throughout Africa is the distribution of, of educational content to learners so the kiosks are placed into, into schools and we deliver curriculum based um, um, education content and then edutainment content as well so it really is about getting the content to the learners and who really need that content and, and, and getting them as, as cheaply and uh, um, as I said as, as free content as well. And how does it work in terms of what, what, what do you pay to the kiosk um, landlord, as it were? Well, the, we, on, the, on the education kiosk, we, we, we place the kiosks in the schools at no cost. Um, they place as a social enterprise. So we fund the kiosks through selling premium content and selling financial services such as airtime, electricity, bill payments. So there's no cost for the school. Um, but we would, from a, from, a, from a retail point of view, obviously we would do a deal with the landlord in terms of revenue shares on the sales of content and how they, how they fund the kiosk. So there are supplementary revenue streams in terms of things like selling airtime and so on and so forth? Absolutely, because it's really about having as many revenue streams as possible to make it viable for the, for the school and for the, the retailer or for the entrepreneur. Because one of the things we're doing as well, which we think is very exciting, is developing the kiosk as a business in a box for a young entrepreneur. So they will be able to sell and distribute a wide range of, of, of content. And obviously giving from a content point of view as well, is giving um, um, a, 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 a creating a very cheap distribution platform for local content. Who's the underlying provider? So who's who's providing the system, as it were? We have developed the hardware and the software solutions ourselves in South Africa, working with various partners, um, content content partners. That's what I'm doing at Discop, looking at some. Um, content partners, but we're dealing with um, a company called Red Touch, who's based out of the USA. So we've currently got uh, all the big titles, the Warner, the Disney's, the Paramounts, uh, the Sony. So we've got a huge range of content uh, that will be available by the kiosks. And when's it going to launch? We're launching early in 2013. We've currently got our first demo kiosks, which we're busy doing pilots and then demonstrations, which is we're doing next week, actually. So it's all And where are together. those demo kiosks? The demo kiosks, there'll be one in Johannesburg and one in Cape Town. Thanks for talking to me today. Great.